Hello, today I'll show you how Transpose on Pivot and Pivot works in Power Query. If you work with large data sets and you spend a lot of time converting rows into columns and columns into rows for proper data analysis, the examples in this video will show you how to do it efficiently with Power Query. Power Query is a powerful and user-friendly tool that allows you to clean and transform messy data. If you're new to Power Query, Check out the video on Intro to Power Query in the description box below. Let's see some examples and please don't forget to subscribe. In simple terms, Transpose allows you to rotate an entire table such that rows are converted into columns and columns into rows. Most Excel users are familiar with two easy ways to transpose data. Let me refresh your minds quickly. The first is to copy the data, go to a blank space, right click and choose transpose from the paste options. This is static and can be useful if you need to quickly transpose data. Another way is to use the transpose function. Ensure you have enough blank cells because the data will spill into other cells. Transpose, select the array, close the bracket and Enter. I'm using Microsoft 365, so if you use other versions of Excel, you have to select the number of cells required for the operation and then press Control Shift and Enter because this is an array formula. If you had new information to the source data, it updates automatically, so this is dynamic. Now let's see how Power Query handles transpose. Click anywhere in the data, under Get and Transform, select from Sheet. If you use other versions of Excel, this will be from table or range. Excel automatically converts it into an Excel table and loads it into Power Query. Now you have to uncheck my table as headers because the column headers will be cut off when you transpose in Power Query. So you have to load the table without headers. We can see the data right here and you can use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift plus or minus to zoom in or out. I'll collapse the query pane so there's more room. You can change the name of the query here. Let's change this to Transpose. All the steps performed are recorded here. Power Query automatically detected the data type in each field. Next step is to go to the Transform tab and select Transpose. Now we have the Transpose data and Power Query recorded the steps in the Applied pane. The next step is to move the headers up. So click the table icon and select Use First Row as Headers. Now the data is ready to be loaded into the workbook. So let's go to the Home tab, click on the drop down for Close and Load and select close and load to. From the import data window, select table. Let's place this in the existing worksheet. Click OK. Cool. Now we've seen three ways to transpose data in Excel. I'll show you another example with transpose later in the video. In simple terms, Unpivot allows you to convert specific columns to rows. The data here is not in a proper format for data analysis because the values are in multiple columns. The right structure will be to have all the values in a single column. That way, you'll be able to insert a pivot table and analyze the data. So instead of rearranging this data manually or writing a formula, you can rearrange these columns with Power Query in just a few steps. First step, load the data into Power Query. Data from sheet. Ensure my table as headers is checked this time and rename the query. The second step is to unpivot the columns. You can do this in the transform tab or just right click on the active column and select the unpivot option that works best for your data. Since the first column is selected, I can select unpivot other columns and all the columns from kindergarten to grade 5 will be converted to rows. Just like that. The last step is to rename the columns. You can rename in the formula bar, however the step will not be recorded here. 
If you want to see the recorded step, double click the header and change. This is grid. This is size. Now go to the home tab and select close and load to because we are loading this query for the first time. I want to show you how the data looks before we create a pivot table. So select table, place in the existing sheet and click OK. Now I can insert a pivot table and properly analyze the data. Easy peasy. Now that we understand how unpivot and transpose work, let's take a look at how to unpivot a data set with multiple headers. First step, click anywhere in the data, select from sheet, uncheck the box because the headers are not in the right place and we are going to transpose the table. Load the data and rename the query. Let's name this unpivot2. The next step, transpose the data. This is an important step when you have multiple headers in your data. In Power Query, you can't merge rows, but you can merge columns. Therefore, you need to transpose the data to merge the headers. Select Transpose. The next step is to fill down the values where you have nulls. Right click and fill down. You can fill down in the Transform tab as well. Next. Hold shift and select both columns, right click and merge. I'll select a comma separator. You can change the name if you want. Now that the headers are merged, you can transpose the table back to the way it was originally. The next step is to move the headers up. So click the table icon and select use first row as headers. Next, right click on the active column and select on pivot other columns and all the columns from kindergarten to grade 5 will be converted to rows. The next step is to split the merged column into separate columns. Right click on the header and split by the limiter. Each occurrence is fine because we have only one. The last step is to rename the columns and ensure the data types are correct. Now we can close and load to a table. Cool. Now you can insert a pivot table and properly analyze the data. In simple terms, pivot allows you to convert rows in a specific column into columns with an option to aggregate values. An aggregation is a way of summarizing data and types of aggregation include sum, average, count, and so on, similar to what we have in a regular pivot table in Excel. Take a look at the rows in this column. There are two unique values, 2019 and 2020, with multiple values that can be aggregated in the other columns. Let's load the data and see how to pivot the rows in this column. Go to Data from Sheet. Ensure my table as headers is checked. Let's name this Pivot. The next step is to select the particular column you want to pivot, and that is Year. Go to the Transform tab and select Pivot. Right at the top, you see the description, use the names in column year to create new columns. Next, you have to specify the values column, and that is size. Click on advanced option to specify the aggregation function you want. I want to sum the values, so sum is OK. Now, please note that you can pivot columns without aggregating when you're working with columns that can be aggregated, like text, or if you don't want to aggregate the values. Click OK. Now, go to the Home tab and select Close and Load To. I'll load it in a table and place it right next to this. And that's it. 
To wrap up, you can use transpose, pivot, and unpivot in Power Query to change the structure of your data to make your analysis easier. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe and click the like button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.